An update now to a story we brought you last night about a Medina County Fire Department search for two good Samaritans who helped save the life of a motorcycle accident victim. Tonight, those firefighters got their wish and thanked the women who can truly be called lifesavers. Lena Lai spoke with them and has this story. A car and motorcycle crash in Medina County. The motorcyclist with a severe leg injury. If he would have had that arterial bleed for much longer, he probably would have bled out. But also on the road that day, Marty Mackey. You're like the most wanted woman, but in a good way. We pulled our cars over and spoke via Zoom. We were running late. I have five children. As she neared the crash and saw no emergency help had gotten there yet, Marty wasn't just at the right place at the right time. She also had the right knowledge. I was certified in first aid, CPR, and AED um, because I'm a school bus driver. She and another woman used a man's belt to fashion a tourniquet to stop the bleed. Soon, paramedics and a medical helicopter arrived and took over, but Marty was too scared to stick around. And I was kind of terrified that um, I would watch him die. There was this mystery lady who helped save this guy's life. We thought it was super important to get a hold of them and try to find them and let them be recognized. Word spread of the search for these women finally reaching Marty. And it had said that they were looking for the Good Samaritan that he lived, and I started crying. Um, because I didn't know if I had done enough. What is the source of that emotion? Like, why did you, why did it bring you to tears? It's personal. Um, I'm a victim of narcissistic abuse. Um, so for a long time, I've been belittled and put down um, and thought I was nothing. And being able to use those skills that I have learned to save another person's life, I was something. In that moment, I was something. Not just somebody. To others, a hero. The Litchfield Fire Chief firmly believes that that motorcyclist would not be alive today if not for these two women. The victim is stable tonight. I did contact the second woman. She was very gracious with us, but did not want to speak on camera. Neither did the victim's family, but they did speak to the women, and they certainly expressed their gratitude. Laura. Lena, what a story yeah. you told tonight. Yeah, you know, thank goodness for, for women like Marty that there are these angels in this world, right? Oh, Marty is certainly an angel. Lena, thanks so much. Mm -hmm.